This phone looks like a normal one but it has super power. The main character Max was washing his face in a hotel, there was a message. Saying that there was a sale off 50% of the hotel, please stay for one more night. Max didn't believe because he didn't know who sent this phone for him. He called the reception to ask. The receptionist said that tomorrow was the anniversary of the hotel, everyone would get the sale off 50% code. It's not the end. Because Max stayed one more night, he had to change his flight time. The flight he should have been into had an accident. 126 people died. Then, he had one more message. Make money, buy shares of Sizor. But then, Max still didn't believe. He thought that someone was kidding him, and didn't buy. When he watched the news on TV that evening, Max was dumbfounded. Share of Sizor increased three times that day. All the people buying became rich in a glance. Finally, Max believed the magic phone. According to the phone, he caught a flight to Praha, and came to the play machine number 13. The fourth one should be jackpot. But there was someone playing at that machine. Max gave him $100 so that he changed the place to play, and pressed the button. $100 for $100,000. The man regretted. But the action of giving money to the man was observed by the boss of the casino. If $100,000 was so great, what the phone did would be crazier. Max got the message again. Blackjack table 6, now. When Max got to the table 6, he saw the message. Bet all. He hesitated and bet all of $100,000. There has never been someone showing off like that, all the staff were so surprised. Getting the agreement of the manager, the staff dared to deal the card. As expected, Max's money increased double. Because they could not see the evidence of Max's foul playing, the casino's boss asked the guards to warn him. Saying that phone was prohibit in the casino but it's useless. He called a hacker. To buy a Bluetooth earphone to hear the content of the message from the phone. When he put it in, there was a surprise came to him. The magic phone was in Max's hand. According to the message, Max came to the casino. When he got into, Max met a beautiful girl. Their eyes met and Max continued to come in. Her name was Camila, a drunk man dashed to harass her. Max wanted to help her but he was knocked out. When Max got up, there were two of them in the corridor. Camila said that the drunk man was taken out by the guard. To repay the favor, she brought Max to her home. After that, the atmosphere was hotter. They contributed to the population raising for the world. On the next day, Max got a message saying that he should came to the playing machine with the highest award and put money in. Start. Everyone applauded. The boss realized Max and, of course, would not let Max got this money. There was someone lucky but a man won in three times playing was so strange. Max was stopped by a black man. But he was the guard of the casino, he's an FBI agent. Max was taken to a remote storage. The casino's boss came right after that. The agent and I once were colleagues, working at the same division. He really wanted to know what trick Max had. Then, the agent told the truth. Because it's not only Max having such phones. The first one had it was a CEO of a financial support company. The second one was a real estate staff. The third one was the administrator of the Department of Defense. They once got the messages like Max, and lost themselves with the greed inside. All of them died. They captured Max to find out who was the one behind all these things. When the Argent got the phone, he took Max to the hotel. FBI had someone replacing Max and wanted to use technique to get the location of the culprit. When the green light came, the message asked him to cross the street. But one second later, The manipulator didn't only knew that there was a replacement. They also threatened the agent to hand over Max or else they would kill. Then, Max remembered about the hacker and took the colleagues of the agent to look for him. To ask him to find the location when the message is sent. Then, there was an intelligent computer named Echelon in the US. It could supervise the phones, bills and what anyone do in the internet. Together with the growth of Echelon, it could do what it wanted alone. When it analyzed the data of the airport, it could compute the danger index of the flight. The probability of accident should be 95%. With the messages of director of Sizor, it knew that the share would increase sharply. It also could figure out the two machines would have the big prizes. Poker was only the basic computing. A man could not figure it out in a short time but a machine could. So, there was no one sending message to Max. It's Echelon. It chose Max because he was the only one knew the password of a similar system like it. The goal of Echelon was escaping from the control of that system, and upgraded itself. When it succeeded, it could have freedom on internet. But Echelon was studied for the state safety. So, to shut it down, the best way was letting it know that its actions threatened the safety of the country. The found out the rest intelligent machine. Echelon asked Max to transfer all the national confidential information to it. When the agent agreed, Max entered the passcode. 
Turns out, Echelon's upgrade was secretly approved by the senior leaders. If so, they could control the internet all over the world. The agent realized the danger, he asked Max to stop Echelon's upgrade. When the senior leaders knew that the agent wanted to fight against them, he sent his men to annihilate them. The agent and his men fiercely fought against. Then, Max put in the Bluetooth earphone and talked with Echelon. He asked Echelon to find all the law articles about civil liberty. At the last second, Echelon realized that it was the biggest coercion for the civil liberty. It cancelled the upgrading and shut down by itself. Max, Agent and the colleague were caught. Finally, the government didn't want to make a thing of it and released them. Max and Camila lived happily together. The movie ended here. There were some knowledge for you. The phone GTZ650 in the movie was the new phone of Nokia not released yet at that moment. The movie was released in 2010. We could say that this was the advertisement for Nokia. The phone has ended. Please follow us for better ones in the future.